Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Schwartz. Welcome back to my channel. You can tell that it's always the weekend whenever I uh, have a shirt like this on. Otherwise, I have the nice shirts on for when I'm at work during the week. So I read Robot Dreams that night. Give me the feels right here. Give me the feels right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's very simple illustrations, and there's pretty much no dialogue. And it's an exceptionally nice story. It's, uh, it looks like it's for kids, and it is to a certain extent, but it tackles honestly pretty mature themes about friendship, loss, learning to move on and accept that you, you wanna try to go back to the way things were, but you can't, and it may be painful at the time, but sometimes that's what you have to do. And I didn't know that from this cover that that's what the story would have been about, but it is, and it's really good. I'd, I'd honestly recommend checking this out. But let's move on to the next subject today, which is another bag, heavier than last time. So let's see what's inside. Honestly, at this point, I really should get in contact with Thriftbooks and say, hey, why, why don't you and me, why don't you and me do some kind of sponsorship, partnership deal? You don't even have to pay me, Thriftbooks. Just give me, that's my dog in the background. Just you know, three books. You don't even have to pay me. Just give me free books and I'll make like weekly reviews or something like that. Hashtag call me thrift books. Here's the snack item for this book opening. I believe this is number. N I would. I I just rechecked. This is num. This would be uh, uh, book number nine. Still only two of them that I have more than I have mixed feelings about. The rest of them I've liked. It's a really good track record. Seven good and only two, not even bad, just mediocre. Appropriate that what gushed out of the package was gushers. I do love me some fruit gushers. Now, let's get to the bag here. Ah, a, a hardcover again this time. That wasn't the doorbell. That was me banging on the book. Dog life. Let's see what's inside. Ah, see, see? I'm free advertising thrift books. Free advertising from someone who gets like 10 views per video. I'm a good partner, I swear. <laughs> anyway, let's see what's inside. What have we got this time? I don't know what this is. Agatha and the Airship City. Ooh, that looks very pretty. From the Hugo Award winning authors Phil and Keja Foglio. I have never heard of this. Let's let's read what it's about. Ooh, adventure, romance, and mad science. The Industrial Revolution has escalated into all-out warfare. Sixteen years have passed since the heterodyne boys, benevolent adventurers and inventors, disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Today, Europe is ruled by the Sparks, dynasties of mad scientists ruling over and terrorizing the hapless population with their bizarre inventions and unchecked power, while the downtrodden dream of the heterodynes return. At Transylvania Polygnostic University, a pretty young student named Agatha Clay seems to have nothing but bad luck. Incapable of building anything that actually works, but dedicated to her studies, Agatha seems destined for a lackluster career as a minor lab assistant. But when the university is overthrown by the ruthless tyrant Baron Klaus Wolfenbach, Agatha finds herself a prisoner aboard his mas massive airship Castle Wolfenbach. That sounds like a video game. That's amazing. And it begins to look like she might carry a spark of mad science after all. Von Phil and... Kaja Foglio, creators of the Hugo, Eagle, and Eisner Award-nominated webcomic Girl Genius. Oh, I've heard of Girl Genius. That's really good. Comes Agatha... <coughs> I can speak. Comes Agatha H. and the Airship City. A gas lamp fantasy filled with to bursting with adventure, romance, and mad science. Oh, okay. So these are the people that made uh, Girl Genius. That I would recommend checking out that webcomic. It's actually really good. They have also apparently contributed artwork to Magic the Gathering. That's really cool. I can kind of tell from the artwork on the cover there 
this sounds like my kind of thing. It says it's a girl genius novel, so hopefully I don't need to know anything about girl genius going into this, otherwise I need to refresh my memory on it. But it sounds like this should be self-contained. Sounds like this would just be a nice fun adventure, which is honestly all I ever really look for in fantasy novels like this. Got a bit of steampunk. You can tell with that laser thing going there. This looks like it's going to be a really good time. I'm looking forward to checking this out, and I'll give you my thoughts about it next time I come back with another Yoko Boko Float video. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Mr. Schwartz, and until next time, have yourselves a good day. Because I know I will.